And we're live! Hello! Welcome to Team Fortress TV number two. The real place where the real action of TF2 is happening. Luckily, we've got the best game tonight. I'm Turbo Tabs. I'm joined with Commander X and Mafsad on the camera slash production. How are you doing, CX? I'm really sleepy. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Viaduct, so now wake me up. Woo! Things are going to happen constantly for 25 minutes. So that should perk me up. If you guys have no idea what we're talking about, this is ETF2R Season 24, powered by TT Esports. This is Week 4. Happy Farmers versus PC Master Race. The maps are going to be King of the Hill, Product, and CP Reckoner. Ooh. Yeah, Reckoner's a bit of a weird one. I have played it a total of two times. What do you I don't really know too much about it. So I think it's going to be a bit of a wildcard map, but word on the street is... Happy Farmers are super strong on it. Yes, uh, Happy Farmers were the team that entered the preseason cup, and that was obviously prime uh, the uh, the cup to test out the new maps. One of those maps being Reckoner, and they actually won the whole thing. They beat uh, DD Plus Five friends uh, in the grand finals, clean sweep, two nil. So, if there's experience, there's anything to go by, they should win this tonight. At least that map. Yeah, I think we're going to start on Viaduct, and I think that's a map they had a pretty good chance on as well. But obviously, PC Master Race caused upsets on this map before. Um, the vaccinator plays just throw a real curveball. It's really hard for a lot of teams to deal with that and adjust it. Like most teams don't have experience against vaccinator in any other situation than attacking last versus a vaccinator, so it's it's difficult for teams. Speaking of PC adjust. Master Race, let's segue over to our brilliant gentleman, John Stats, uh, gifted by the god himself, Gentleman John, as uh, I press this handy dandy bunt, uh, button. I hope everything's working on stream. Stuff has come up. Stuff that is has promising. come up. Yes. Okay. So in this PC Master Race lineup, we've got HP on Scout, Potato being his uh, pocket Scout as well, Buddy. Uh, we've also got the Pocket Soldier, Lippy. The roaming soldier will not be damn easy tonight. It will actually be Tobbs, but damn easy is quite. Uh, he's actually going to be playing for the other team tonight, but he has previously moked for PC Master Race in the past. That's so. That's why he's there. And we've also got Settler on Demo Man and Grabber on Medic. What a team! Yeah, I think the stars in this team really are Lippy and Settler. They really. They really could set up the plays for everyone else. Like, HP has his moments, but he's very hit and miss. Um, the rest of the players are quite unproven or inconsistent at best. It is really kind of all on Lippy and Settler. Yeah, and just to fill the void as well, uh, the, per, uh, the Roma who will be playing tonight will be Tobbs, the actual uh, main lineup, uh, you know, first in the team to play. But uh, anyway, over on the Happy Farmers side of things, let's see if we can pull up that sheet as well. Because I, I just want to get a move on, because a lot of these uh, players are already in the server and they could be starting at any moment now. So let's have a quick roster rundown of Happy Farmers, please, CX. Uh, so it's going to be Foot on Medic. Um, played previously back in like Made in Germany. Wasn't maybe good then, not as bad now. Uh, Brego or Demon Man, who is the absolute star of his team, absolute machine. Relia on Pocket, a promising upcoming talent. Shocky on Pocket Scout, everyone knows him, still one of the best in the game. Damn Easy actually on this team as Roma. And Bash isn't here tonight, so they've got um, Butt Nose murking Scout for them. Butt Nose oh. will literally murk for anyone. Well, that's, uh, that's very interesting because uh, out of all the people there that I was going to question, it's surprisingly not going to be Relia, who has been receiving a lot of hate recently. But uh, it was actually going to be Bash over the uh, the past few weeks or so. Now CX uh, Bash has been, in my opinion, slightly underperforming in a way. Like he does pull off every now and then this uh, these neat little back caps that kind of win out the rounds, and you know it is the objective at the end of the day. But he's been consistently uh, landing himself in the bottom damage of all of his games. Now it's uh, it's quite shocking to see, really, just uh, the German scout from. From once he was, from once he what, what he want, yeah. from what he used to be like. In your own uh, time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, he's so, he's been on a steady decline basically since I forty nine, and this is probably the low point of that really. To be honest, he's still doing the right things. Like he still knows how to play the game, but when a lot of like prem TF two now is quite DM based, especially on the scout class, even if people aren't particularly smart, they're very DM heavy. So he kind of gets shown up a lot in that. But it doesn't matter. They got butt nodes. This guy anyway. is the best whenever he plays. Anyway, we have gone live, so if you're just joining us, this is our first map of a product. This is etf 2 l Season 24, powered by TTE Sports. This is Week 4, Happy Farmers versus PC Master Race. What's happening on mid, CX? Uh, we can see both teams line up straight away. No snipers or anything. It's a straight, straight fight. Shotty's going to take the early aggression across the point. Reddy is going to try and get behind, but he's not really committing that. He's taking a lot of damage. No real threat. Dan is going to follow up with the bomb. Trying to pressure Settler. Reddy are coming in from behind that. Uh, we're actually losing a couple of people, but it's opened up so much space for Brego. He's got a free on this mid already. Trying to find Grabber, but he only has pipes loaded. Can't hit the long range pipe, but Brego uh, capitalizing on the space made by his soldiers and scouts there, getting the free K on mid. Yeah, with uh, him being the only survivor really on that midpoint, well, one of the core survivors, uh, he will be the only one capping off that point. He is joined up by his buddy Shocky, who is just going to hold the perimeter for now, and they're just going to wait for the aggression to come to them. So let's see what they have uh, packed up the sleeves uh, over on PC Master is. Yeah, it looks like Settler wanted to walk it in lower there, but he kind of hesitates if they're going to have to clear the stickies out. Um, about half a minute off the time as they play and make this push grab. It's taking a lot of spam, going to have to use suit. You know, set this take kind of solo in. And Happy Farmers have just given him space. They're going to pop back now. Brago's uh, trying to find any frags, but it's quite difficult to like to isolate players as demo man. They do find a flat of aroma. The re pushes back in, set separated from the heel. But the players kind of isolated Brago. Brago is all by himself. They're chasing him down. Somehow Brago to survive. Eventually, Fun himself is able to clean up the players behind, but those players behind just, they just ditch Brago. If they lose the point, they lose Brago. They just about to have their medic survive, but Happy Farm is really divided. Yeah, that's what happens when HP gets behind you. It's just a con constant falling in the side. Uh, Relia went back to deal with him, but uh, HP's DM just kind of overshadowed uh, Relia there, taking him out. But Fun did clean him up with a, an arrow much later, but they've already lost at the point because of that uh, little behind play. Yeah, we're going to see him try and walk back in now. Happy Farmer's turn to try and get the point. We're just trying to bait some time on it, but Grabber does have a better Uber charge since Spoon was separated. But I don't think they're aware of it. And actually, Tobs is going to be isolated first. Again, we see the soldiers going behind. That means we have a force, but Spoon doesn't have it yet. 87% and all alone. But again, we see a solo demo man Uber coming out, and it's just... Um, there's just not a lot they can do with it. Now Grabber's stuck behind, the soldiers are on the hunt, he will go down. And I don't know how they let that get so bad for themselves in their PC Master Race. Like, Sellet was the only one in the Uber, and they just lost everyone else behind. Yeah, uh, that was just Butt Nose and Damizi just cleaning up players from uh, from the behind. And Grabber and uh, Sellet just weren't paying attention, they just got forced on mid. And you know that mindset, what happens when you got an Uber on you, you feel like, oh, I've got to do something. So Sellet just powered forward, completely ignored all his teammates behind. And they just got uh, decimated whilst he just used a, a useless Uber, essentially. Yeah, poor decisions uh, from a team, essentially. As we see a suicide coming. Both soldiers could all have to pop eventually. Drop, not before dropping Brago, though. We're going to clean up only two frags here. Actually worked out really well for PC Master Racers, but we see HP swapping over, over to Sniper in the midst of that as well. Happy Farmers are going to try and delay it, but without Brago to spam a point, it's going to be difficult. They're going to try and fight it anyway as Grabber doesn't actually have Uber. Um, and they actually, again, Happy Farmers just stack in the flank. Butno's going deep and damn easy, but they're going to get cleaned up. And this has just made it easy for PC Master Race right now. They can just slowly but surely spam them out and hold it. And in fact, looks like T Lippy wants to go deep, picks off Butno's. Uh, Happy Farmers kind of lingering in this fight, but there's no real threat. So they will be okay. Uber's more or less even slight advantage for PC Master Race, but we should see Happy Farmers come back in pretty swiftly. Yeah, it was a little confusing there. It seems like Relio wanted to do one thing whilst the entire team wanted to sit back, so maybe he didn't quite get the memo that the rest of the team were playing defensive, as they do bomb in two soldiers and they do get the force onto Grabber, but they have cleaned up those two soldiers, so it's not the worst situation in the world. Um, they could have dropped and they could have uh, led straight to a push already. I actually see Settler trying to kind of overextend forward. Maybe he can catch out Fun over uh, with some sneaky trap play, but he does get found out by the two scouts and they're already going with the buffs, with the uber charge, uh, pushing out this cliff hand, uh, this cliff hand side. 
Yeah, clever decision there, because they have the time advantage anyway, they can afford to make that low risk play. And now they're going to walk back in with the Uber. They're going to try and not use here as well. Focus down the soldier, they have a soldier sort of flanking, and Flynn's actually going to pop it off. It's a soft pop there, but it probably won't change things too much, as they were able to keep all six people alive. Uh, Relia will get out as well from going pretty deep, just about. But now PC Master Race have a pretty good opportunity off the back of that soft pop to come back in and settle it again, leading the charge. Gonna force him back, Brego's trying to spam him down, so that's quite far forward, Brego can't find the pipe for one, and he's pressured out, but he baits a scout into him, and now they lose the flank as well, Happy Farmers are winning this flank fight so often, and that's gonna allow him to challenge this point, and Grabber's probably gonna have to use the Uber to hold on to it here, he will pop it off, they get one frag, and now it's all about how many frags PC Master Race can get, they claim two, they're gonna try and hunt down Brego, uh, and I believe Potato's actually on the hunt, but Shocky's got his Demoman covered. And again, Happy Farmers played that pretty well. Yeah, it was pretty good, but not the uh, the dream scenario. The dream would have been if they managed to catch out Foon as well and uh, stop him from getting in the uh, Uber charge ready for the next push. But uh, it would be a little bit greedy to go for the kill there. Foon did uh, get himself out of there practically when he did see, start seeing some glowing people as he is starting to make his push now. And uh, they do pick up Brago though, so that's going to be a massive DPS loss for uh, happy farmers, but and now they're just trying to get on top of the other meta. Grabber will be taken out, so now they just need to clump up around Fun, but the only person clumping up on top of him is Potato. They're trying their best to keep onto it, but nobody was looking at Tobbs. Tobbs manages to get behind, and Shocky does kind of pluck him out of the air as he tries to escape there, but there's only a few players of Happy Farmers left, and they've spent so much time just trying to pick up with the last few players, but Shocky is staying alive for quite a long time here. Brago has rejoined the fight from that drop <laughs> earlier, and oh god, has he rejoined the fight with some Chris! Oh. Oh my days, he just takes that grabber as well. I was about to say, that, that was so badly played from Happy Farmers. That Uber was terrible. Oh, he even gets the um, sticky trap onto Tops there, baiting out the jump. And he probably... Oh, nice air shot by Relius. See, this guy isn't so bad after all. And that means he will uh, clean up the potato kill. Uh, HP is still going in for some reason. They just need to calm down over on... Uh, okay, well... It's, I guess, yeah, there was the final few seconds in all that hype. I wasn't paying attention to the objective, Commander X. Excuse yeah, me for like, questioning HP. Happy Farmers should have... Like, that was so bad. They drop Brego in the Uber, and the soldiers go so deep from this grabber frag. Like, they do get it, but they, it costs them so much health, and they go so deep. They end up almost getting everyone killed, but luckily Brego and his scouts are able to clean everything up. The stars of Happy Farmers shining at the end of that first round. We give them a one-round advantage as we see both teams facing off on mid again. Potato just hanging back to the rest of the team trying to play defensive. Relia and HP trade damage, but it's not going to open it up. Again, Shocky just trying to get that early cap and forcing PC Master Race to commit. Fun's going to catch a pipe, and this could be uh, pivotal as that's going to force Fun to back off. No heals on the rest of his team. And that one spam pipe is one of the mid there, Turbo Tabs. It's a real shame because there was a point where, oh, actually it's not over yet, damn easy, he's going in, he wants to play the game on hard mode it seems, he finally, when things, the dust settles, then he decides to go in for whatever reason, and now his team is still trying to go in even though, <gasps> Brago, he got the drop off the grabber! What a player, and now that's completely turned things around, now they just need to keep fun alive, and he is going to float back onto the cliff, completely, uh, well, just only min minorly harmed, and uh, Settler decides he wants to make a play back into this, but he's already, uh, shocked he's already keeping tabs on him, he's going to get the cleanup kill onto that player as well, and my god, they're running away with it, CX. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> what's that, the second drop, it's really costing his team. Um, and Happy Farmers are again going to retake control of the point. They're only pretty much even for time, but they're in a stronger situation. They still have this Uber to play with. So I imagine we'll see um, a suicide perhaps coming out. But it looks like Grabber's sort of half committing to this. They're taking their time with this. I'm not quite sure what their plan is here. I think they're eventually going. Settler's going in by himself, though. Gets focused down easily. Here come the soldiers. One dog to two. Bones going to drop as well. Textbook play. Settler was just the mere distraction there. Gave him a different spot to look at. They were busy looking at the ground at Settler, whilst the real uh, damaging and force was the soldiers, Lippy and Tobbs, who came in with a perfectly synced jump. It looked like something out of the Olympics uh, diving team, CX. And they're even going to get the... Uh, the uh, the powerless uh, Relia on that uh, from wait, the line. Wait, look at this find... position. Oh wait, Shocky got caught out. Never mind. Easy frag for Potato catching up for hiding <laughs> Shocky. Um, and now Happy Farmers don't really have anybody to really contest this. Grabber's going to go on easy. Dammy Easy's going for a solo effort, but he's zoned out by a scout. A responsible pocket work from Potato there to keep his medics safe. But it's, it's been dropped to plenty so far. I don't think anyone's actually held on to anything. 
you know, f uh, they just did not see it coming at all. Uh, uh, happy Farmers, whilst over on PC Masters, they just hit like a string of unlucky things, you could say. Like, uh, Brago just happened to get those shots that they just didn't see coming as well. And uh, I would I wouldn't bl I would blame it a little less on Happy Farmers, it was just good play coming out from PC Master Race. And the Uber comes in from PC Master Race to hold on to this point, but Sellers gets juggled back just as the Uber's popped onto him, which is going to allow Happy Farmers the room they need to get out of there. And Lippy's actually going to go deep onto Foon. One rocket, two rocket does get the pop out. Now Relly has got a huge task on to try and chase someone down for this. He goes deep, he's zoned out at Scalp. Got back up from his team, but HP won't go down. And in fact, they bait out damage. Speed. Happy Farmers look like they're overextending for this now. Reddy has taken a lot of damage. He'll go down. And once again, the Happy Farmer soldiers overextend as they retake the point. This is going to allow Seller just to mouse one, mouse to plowing forward damage on break. But they can't find the finishing blow. And Happy Farmers are buying a lot of time in this fight when really they should have taken Brego out of that one. Um, and they're just making a meal of this right now, PC Master Race. The respawns are coming in for Happy Farmers. And they're actually picking up frags. They do get the cap PC Master Race, but they've made an absolute mess of this. They're going to have to give the cap away straight away again. Yeah, it, it was looking good for a moment there. They were getting trades, and if, uh, if you're losing, uh, the, if you don't have the point at that moment in time, these trades are good to take as the attacking team is. So they do pop off this Uber now, but Fun is so close to his Uber. But oh my god, HP just lands on top of him. You know, launched to the sky. It was just like a meteorite taking out uh, Fun there. And that's uh, just brought the tables back towards PC Master Race. And let's see if they can hold on to this point. As a medic main, my heart is breaking right now. <laughs> like, it just... Like, some of it's unlucky, like, a couple of the drops have been kind of unlucky in terms of catching the, like, getting hit by the same damage at the same time. You know, getting caught out in, like, 1v1s and having to get their sore out and then getting frags, but... They're just going down constantly, and Viaduct's really a map where you need your medics to put you on to stay alive the whole time to keep the fight going. Saying that, the time's pretty even as Happy Farmer's gonna power back onto the point. Brago's gonna set up that frag for Butt Nose onto Settler. That's gonna allow that frag, but again, we see Butt Nose then overextended. The soldier's trying to oblige now as well. Shocky's going deep, but he's getting focused down by scouts. He's gonna just about get out. But Happy Farmer's uh, just continuously overextending on this cliffside and allowing PC Master Race to get back into it. Yeah, they're not even doing it at the same time, which would really uh, get some results going. And you do see Shocky kind of trying to overextend over there, but he's got the movement to kind of weasel his way out. So I can see why uh, he gets away with it while his uh, comrades do it, as they are deciding to go aggressive with this Uber. Grab uh, pops his Uber in kind though, and they're trying to see if they can get on top of Fun. They're right next to him, HP, and actually Settler's going to be the one with like a uh, sniping sticky to take out Fun there. And now they just need to blob up around their own medic and just uh, clean up the kills that go aggressive here. And that's what they're doing. Not a single frag has been given up, and they're going to hold on to the point for another 15 seconds, most likely. Yeah, consistent mistakes from um, from Happy Farmers crowd as we see Brago make one last attempt. As there's five seconds left, I think they're going to get one launch, but it's going to be awfully difficult as Senna Sticky's off the point. They're going to try and keep this overtime going. Oh. They get two, two for one from that Sticky trap. Relly is going to try and go in, but it's too little too late. And both PC Master Races, like, repushes were okay. I feel like they shouldn't have been, they were made easy by Happy Farmers overextending, and Happy Farmers... Um, the architects of their own downfall here. Well, uh, now that's PC Master Race are back into the driver's seat, I do expect them to win out this map, I'm predicting, as they uh, have shown res uh, incredible results on this map in the past, and I just don't think Happy Farmers, this is their map, uh, really, but uh, who knows, they did win the first round, they could still uh, potentially win the, uh, the, the last two rounds as well, let's see what they can do, as Lippy does manage to get behind, but he's drawing a lot of eyes, but he finally gets cleaned up in the end, but they trade soldiers for now, and uh, nobody's really shown some cat time on point, and the only one that has, but knows, he's been taken out for it and you just see that the players slowly bleeding away for happy farmers and you just see the dm prowess of pc master is just strong arming happy farmers and i think that this is going to be an another potential round for pc master race hp's trying to go deep but he's just uh, caught out by relio instead easy frag can actually give him the numbers advantage as a 14 second spawn on hp it's going to leave him vulnerable in this defense we see Shocky and Dan Easy taking ground really early. Relly is hanging back with his medic right now. Brego's going to start moving forward. 
Shockey again initiating that point, starting that cap, forcing PC Master Race to make a play. And instead, they're stacking the flank with three of them now. They've opened this up. Set is going to try and take a big solo in, but it is going to leave the rest of these players vulnerable. Potato is going to get involved in the HB is stuck 1v1 in butt nose behind. And they're outnumbered on point here. Grabber serves away at the end of that Uber. But they're just getting completely outnumbered here. Grabber's getting chased down. Shockey will finally find that one. HP gets the counter frag, but it's not going to be worth a lot as Happy Farmers uh, just completely outmanned, outnumbered, and outmaneuvered. Yeah, uh, this, PC this, Master Ace. These solo weavers are not good. Yeah, the, spa uh, the spam hasn't been concentrated enough to really force Happy Farmers to force uh, themselves whatsoever. And they just start to slowly lose uh, players out on the flank as well. So this just kind of forces Grabber's hand. Uh, to just use this uber but it's a bit optimistic to expect that to just lay out this much damage to just uh justify that solo pop in and uh lippy does pick up the, the damn easy kill as uh but they're just trading for frags for now really i had to overextend for that licky uh that lippy clean up and shockies uh not gonna outdo two scouts by himself so this just leaves again happy farmers on the back foot just from the dm and the focus fire of pc master is yeah, I really like that from PC Master Race. They've been overpowered on the flank throughout in this match so far, but that time they just committed a lot of bodies to it uh, while keeping most of the heals on Settler so we could hold off the other side. And Brega just doesn't have a backup to um, overpower Settler. Now we're going to see Dam Easy taking the solo in as they try and recap it. He will get the pop off back on Grabber, and this time Settler's coming forward with a scout. Potato able to get that early opening frag. He's now going deep onto Brego. HB's going to join him. HB and Potato doing great work here. They've got Funlo as well, but they're maybe overextending. Buttnose and Shockey claim too, and all of a sudden, the repush is back on. The Happy Farmers are trying to deal with Tobbs, who is doing a good job of buying time, actually. Milking these health packs. Um, will get killed on his way out, but he's bought a lot of time for his team. But the respawns are just too slow when you aim the point, and it's not actually able to buy him enough time to retake that fight. They're going to have to reset here. Yeah, you see the double-edged nature of uh, the scouts over on PC Master Race. They're one of those uh, scout pairs that like like to go big or go home. And if they really try to extend those frags, if they get the kills, it uh, gives them that huge, massive lead that uh, that can really take away the entire round for them. But as you can tell, it's just really stacked odds, especially against a team like Happy Farmers, who are kind of uh, meeting them up roughly in the mid-table skill uh, of this Prem season. And we see Lippy uh, has really started to focus on a lot more on this left-hand side of his flank area, and it's it's stopping Happy Farmers getting behind. And Happy Farmers have tended to get their flank behind and then initiate with Brago and Shockey. Um, but they're not able to do that right now, and instead HP's going to force back Brago. Made <laughs> loads of space for Settler, going to powerful take down his MMA counterpart. Part. Now the Uber comes in from Shockey, who will get the force off. The Happy Farmers are scattered right now, and Tobbs and Lippy. Look at this, just overpowering the flat tank right now. Both oh. jumping, forcing them back, um, but somehow they've just overextended PC Master. They've left Grabber alone on the point, and Happy Farmers are able to clean up. Yeah, they sent two soldiers on that flank carry to, uh, well, air, finger quotes, overpower it, but damn easy, just took on two soldiers and brought them down so low. Uh, it did not really uh, get the mark that the two soldiers should have made against that one uh, happy farmer roaming soldier. Yeah, both teams just, just taking turns to overextend here and it's turning out to make it a really even game. Um, happy farmers in control of a point behind on time as this repush comes in. Once again, Settler's uh, at the spearhead of it, going to initiate the cap. So we're just trying to go behind for happy farmers, but we'll get behind. I think he's going to try and get on the HP sniper. Um, but Brego's left alone on point, Fun pushing is really defensive, can't support his demo man, and damn easy is causing havoc behind. He's killed a sniper, he's created a distraction, um, and the fight continues on. Again, this flank battle is going on continuously, but meanwhile, Settler's just getting on the point. Here comes the Uber, <laughs> Grabber once again, big fat solo onto Settler, but Settler struggles to get anything done with these solo Weavers so far. As the Ubers fade, it's going to be absolute chaos on the point, on oh the my point. God. both teams. Oh my god, Shockey, he's other. just taking on the entire world here, just right in the face of uh, PC Master Ace, and he's still getting kills despite it. And that was just, uh, I think that was a drop ball as well by the PC Master Race soldiers there, as damn easy went behind. The only player that could, players that could really take out that soldier uh, up in that uh, battlements area is uh, the soldiers over on PC Master Race, but they just didn't care, they just left Settler to kind of deal with it. As they are dealt, when bad news uh, happens, they decide to pop out the vaccinator and now they're just trying to get some cat point on there, bring it back 
uh, away just a second from that overtime, and this uh, vaccinator just allows you to just keep fighting and really stacks the odds of these constant skirmishes. But Happy Farmers are still winning despite this. Potato just seems to be uh, plucking some bags here and there, but Relia though, he's just taking on uh, two players by himself uh, and cleaned them up. It's just not working, it seems. The vaccinator just isn't enough to hold out the, uh, the skirmishing prowess of Happy Farmers in this moment. It's quite weird to see how Seller and Brago, for the most part, have been quite quiet in these fixtures, so sort of neutralising each other. All the all the plays, all the successful pushes seem to be initiated on his flank side. Like it all comes down to who wins that fight, and both teams are committing to it hard, so when, when teams lose this flag fight, they lose it hard and really put their team in a difficult situation. As we go into mid, it's really and damn easy to initiate it, but Relia gets smashed in the air. Lippy's going to chase that frag behind. But it's actually damn easy who finds the first frag on this flank. And now they're going to try and collapse. They focus down Potato, and this has opened up the space. And the <laughs> HP on the sniper picks up Frago. He's going to get pressured hard right now. But he's killed Buttnose as well. A soldier's gone deep. Damn easy misses the, uh, the hero spade. And he's still going. Damn easy will get one before eventually being cleaned up by Settler. HP does go down, but he really made a difference. And he's going to allow Settler to come straight back onto this point. But Shockey's nearly got Uber. Uh, he's got his medic with him, and Shockey wants to take this one in. He's going to rush in, force it onto Settler, grab a will pop, let Settler's health go low, which might make this after Uber fight messy. But some nice high ground gain from Lippy is going to make this difficult for Happy Farms to come back into. But I think we're going to try it anyway. And that pipe from Brago might have just swung it as they're lining it up right now. Again, Shockey's going to start focusing down and initiating this cap. And the soldier's going over on the flank right now. Really is going to be shut down and just scattered fighting across. But it's Buttnose with the 2k. Um, that's going to finally force Settler and grab him back. And Buttnose once more going deep with a bottle comes out from Settler to take him down. But he's done enough. He's forced him away and allowed his team to cap a point. Yeah, PC Masterface uh, looking very scared there when they took that counter Uber. And they, kn they know they wanted to get on top of fun to kind of commit to him, but it was just so scary. The Uber just wasn't running out for him, and they just didn't focus down or call out the right targets to all focus in that little part of the Uber they had left. So uh, after that, Happy Farmers had much better focus, and they still hold on to the point for at least another 20 seconds as they do pop off the Uber to try and hold on to it. Kind of a beef. Oh, Grabber at 99% there. That could have been an absolute disaster for a moment, but uh, he does get that last little pinch of Uber and he's just going to Uber out here. Potato can't find anybody there. It's just Settler and Potato and they just split it off. <gasps> Settler does get a but nice little pipe though. Jesus. He and... stood on a roller. He, it was behind oh. him and he didn't see it. As now we see the pig suicide come out. Damn easy, Brago. Three frags included the medic between. Relly is going deep as well, trying to set it up onto Lippy. Brago's still behind, he's still searching. Shockey's coming, the pipes are out from Brago, he can't find them. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, Shockey's got the clean up anyway. And Happy Farmers with a great response um, to their medic standing on a roller bear. Just absolutely destroy um, every single person on, yeah. the, on the PC Master Race side. I just saw Settler uh, disappear behind the house and I just saw a pipe kill came up and I was like, wow, that must have been a very nice pipe, but I'm a bit disheartened that it's a roller that ends up... Uh, <laughs> it was definitely the... an okay roller, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> uh, one for the uh, the highlight reel, I'm sure. The as... blooper reel. <laughs> as uh, this is match point for Happy Farmers here and they are, have clawed back uh, back into the winning uh, timer in this uh, round as Tobbs will be overpowered on this flank hand side. Nobody really assisting him as HP has gone sniper and Potato is just kind of uh, sitting next to his medic like he always does. He's not really uh, able to click oh in his brain God. that he needs to rotate round. As I'm speaking, everyone's getting <laughs> completely destroyed on PC Master Race. What happened, CX? Um... I don't know. Like, <laughs> um, PC Master Race wants to take it slowly. They had a sniper, so they were, you know, just edging the point. They wanted to open up space for HP. He'd already tagged Brago a couple of times. And Happy Farmers decide, rather than sit back and avoid any sightline, let's just take the fight. And they just go forward. They catch PC Master Race completely unprepared and are able to turn six frags off the back of it. And at such a crucial time in, like, like you said earlier, this is map, map point for them if they can win this one. They're already a minute ahead or just under. And to wipe them like that, maintain their Uber, um, it's going to make it so difficult for PC Master Race because we're going to run out of time as we are in a pause, in case you yeah. haven't noticed. <laughs> yeah, I think it all started back with that Tobbs kill. Uh, Tobbs needs to realise that he's either on that flank by himself or somebody 
anybody over at PC Master Race needs to rotate around and help out your roaming soldier on this flank if he's being overwhelmed or if that's the general strategy here because it once that starts off the flank just kind of box almost box in made them kind of nervous draw some eyes towards them and it just allowed the dominoes to fall from the man advantage I have been reliably informed as pause is due to um but no, just warping. <laughs> War packs accused. Um, but it's a bit of a weird situation, because off the back of this fight, well, I say fight, more of a slaughter from Happy Farmers just crushing them. Um, as actually we go into the unpause, Brego's gone super deep, he picks up one, he picks up two! <laughs> Surely not! I was about, I was before the unpause, I was about to say Brego is in... And such a ridiculous position. Like, he's too far forward. He's half health. He's only got pipes out. What a nonsense position to take. And he's standing far forward again. He kills one. The vaccinators pop to try and stop Brago. They do eventually use a bubble. Stop Brago. But he's put his team so much time. And they still have that full uber. As the vaccinator is once again in the hands of Grabber. He's going to pop it off. But the uber comes out. And Potato goes down. They only use, like, one bubble bow to get the force out. So if they can keep Grabber alive and keep these bubbles coming, this could work out quite nicely for them. But they've lost the flank. They're in trouble here. Liffy's gone deep all the way onto Fool. We'll actually get him. I don't think we've seen a medic survive a bomb. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, they, the medics don't seem to be surfing away at all. They're just made out of toothpaste and biscuits right now as they're just being constantly bombed, constantly dying. But the aggression must keep going. And uh, they are holding off uh, what little aggression they... Uh, you know, arrives on onto the point, but nose gets cleaned up. Brago's decided to jump in as well, and damn easy uh, gets cleaned up. Who is still hanging about on that back flank, and they just don't want to give it up just yet. CX. He's they this swings back and forth so so much and so dramatically as we see a vaccinator forward hold coming out from PC Master H, which should be particularly difficult from Happy Farmers, as I believe there's a slight sort of delaying gameplay as they sort out but no just warping this is the real time of course came in so we're gonna see them look like they want to come out main right now but Finn doesn't quite have uber so i think they're just gonna wait since they're so close to it uh wise decision i don't know if they're aware of forward hold um it looks like they are they're stacking a lot of people through main really is going to try and open it up but he doesn't, doesn't get very far the uber will be popped up onto him and he will Ooh. pick up one frag but Grabber's just left. We've got he's got vaccinators aplenty. Brago's trying to go deep. Here come the bubbles. Relia kills himself. And these bubbles are coming out in force and it's just allowing the PC Master Race people to take these fights without any real fear of damage. But they didn't convert a lot of frags off of it, but now Shoppy goes to deep. Another bubble comes out. The flank is coming though. Here comes Dam Easy. He gets Grabber low, but cannot find the frag. Happy Farmer still attempted to commit. 30 seconds left on the clock. More bubbles coming out from Grabber. They're trying to focus their down. Set it's reloaded. He's putting out what well, if Boyan's gonna put out mad damage, but he doesn't actually land much of that sticky damage. The repush comes back in. More bubbles being popped. It's only set look right now. He's getting focused down so hard. There's just there's just not enough bubbles in the world. And there are three seconds left on this point, and it looks like they're gonna claim it here. Happy farmers. Um, that last fight, that last engagement looked like it could have been so close, like it looked like Settler was about to get mad damage onto every one of the happy farmers who were on the point. And he just kind of went forward and did nothing, like didn't hit, didn't hit the shots. And that's allowed, off the back of that, they were just able to clean up the frags pretty easily with their health advantage. Well, I'm a little embarrassed now because I was convinced that PC Master Race would have walked away with this map, but uh, happy farmers have just turned up, or maybe PC Master Race aren't quite as on fire as I've seen them on this map in the past as well as they just seem so disconnected from one another CX like there's players there's just little fights happening in different random areas and they just uh, they really need to just help each other a lot more when it comes to uh, to viaduct I mean product sorry yeah a lot of a lot of weird decisions like on viaducts you tend to play like kind of with a combo and a flank quite often but there seem to be it's okay that the players themselves are divided. You know, one you got two people, three people playing on the flank, trying to overpower it there. Yeah, but it was but, mainly it's mainly just one, uh, you know, single players running out, uh, out around by themselves, uh, trying to do almost like hero plays. I'm mainly looking at the scouts here, mm. but uh, there was there was no correlation to what the flank were trying to do to what the combo was trying to do either. Like, do you know what I mean? If, like, yeah. at one point they go in for a big fat solo Uber. At which point their flank is just 
busy losing the fight, right? If your flank <laughs> is losing the fight, you can't take an Uber trade because no matter unless you unless you literally kill every single person in front of you with an Uber, like three or four frags, you're just going to get flanked and sandwiched straight away yeah. as soon as the Uber fades. And even if you like single it, like you're looking at ten seconds, ten seconds to get four kills. And then reload and turn around and deal with the players behind. Like it's never going to happen. Also, keep in mind, I didn't really feel Tobbs's presence in this game. Like, uh, apart from watching the flank and just generally holding that area, maybe cleaning up a few people behind, I don't really remember any times he went for a big bomb with his scouts or following up any sort of damage. The only thing that sticks out to me is that glorious double sink jump suicide at the beginning of the game. But other than mm. that, I just didn't feel the soldiers uh, from. PC Master Race uh, this game. Yeah, it felt like Lippy was trying to support his flank a lot, especially sort of in the later stage. I think they kind of identified the combination of Buttnose and Damn Easy with you know help from Shocky. Um, like Shocky was quite often playing on the right hand side of a point, so he can alternate between. He can pick the fight he wants essentially. He can focus on the combo. We can go help a flank, um, and it just kept overpowering um, PC Master Race side. And okay. that's probably just inexperience, really, as, like, Bioduct is a map about, you have to be very in tune with each other, you have to be working together, mm. and the inexperience, I think, from the flank in terms of, like, Tobbs, HB, Potato, it was evident here. Like, Shocky, Buttnose, and Damn Easy just pulled them apart so many times. And I feel like this is a bit unusual. Usually Tobbs is uh, very smart and identifies these situations just a little bit better but uh, maybe it's just not had his Weetabix today or something but uh, I'm looking at the stats now and they just back up some of the points I was making see actually see bottom damage uh, contributing for their teams is Tobbs and Lippy both sitting on around 20 deaths but 11 kills uh, between them and also only uh, contributing 10k between them it's just not as good as uh, Damn Easy who's uh, sitting who just goes to show he does really like uh strangely really likes a uh, product as a roaming soldier mm. and you could see why uh, there was moments where damn easy was holding off a f an aggression from two soldiers by himself he just seems to really click with this that map and understand what he uh he can do on that flank area yeah it was really well played from the flank um all throughout like even though brago had some pretty nice stats everything brago did was set up by his flank. You know, obviously Brego starts to go in and hit the pipes he's known for, but every play was set up from that flank. Mm. And yeah, I think a 3 1 scoreline is fitting and deserving. And now going into Reckoner, like we talked about inexperience and then going into a map that's going to be new to most of these players when Happy Farmers have done so well on it in the past, going to be really tough for PC Master Race. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit. Like, I want to give a big shout out as well before uh, we move on to Ekinner to Buttnose on that map. He was just, uh, you know, really synced up with Danny, uh, Damizu uh, as well. He knew his job uh, and got some pretty good, like, back to back kills, uh, just winning these 1v1 situations as well. And it does make me think if he's the difference maker for Happy Farmers, because. While uh, Bash in all these other games, I know I feel like I'm picking on the poor guy, but uh, he's not been contributing too much to his team apart from when it comes to these uh, smart little plays like back caps. But, you know, we all know uh, that on product, you're not able to back cap. It's all about that DM. And Bash just hasn't turned up in the past at all uh, for these past few weeks in the damage department. So maybe Botnos playing for this team tonight where really was the difference maker. Yeah, like, uh, it's just that edge, you know what I mean? He He's doing the same thing Bash would do, you know, just sort of playing really tight to to damn easy. But he's, he's DM, yeah, he's DM's just more on point. Um, Which is strange. Could you imagine if I told you this, like, I don't know, five seasons ago, it's like, you see Bash, that guy who's, like, at the top of uh, Prem right now, he's going to be out-damaged by Buttnose in the future. Everyone's going to think Buttnose is the better DM, huh? Buttnose is a god. No one would have doubted you. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, you need to always believe in the button notes. Otherwise, any, uh, the other things I see from this logs is just the demo men doing their jobs. Brago uh, had uh, an outstanding game just hitting those pipes. Uh, Shocky being Shocky, as always. You can probably see why Bash doesn't get so much damage. It's just this guy uh, just does so much work for his team as well. And again, uh, HP is just ha following that trend of just uh, going big or going home. And this time he went home on Viaduct. 
I don't think he's gone anywhere but home so far in the season. I don't know. I mean, there are moments where it does work. I mean, I think back to the nameless Viaduct game. That was uh, where everything just seemed to click, along with his scout partner, Potato. But, uh, yeah, it could it could be better um, coming from PC Master Race on this map. But hopefully they can surprise me on this Reckoner. I don't know, if you throw enough shit at a wall, eventually some of it will stick. <laughs> that seems to be sort of HP's feel... ethos of scouting. But they're all, they're all talented players. Like the, the players that have extremely high ceiling, ceiling CX, but they just they have pretty, they can get low floors as well. And we've just uh, seen a bit more of the floor. Uh, but uh, over on this Reckoner map, it com can completely change. I mean, 5 CP is a com whole new kettle of fish compared to King of the Hill. I don't know, but if anything, I think this favours Happy Farmers more. Oh, yeah, like, you, are, you are right. Like, especially with a back cap potential, especially on a map that's... Because it's new, because it's different. Um, like, certain hiding places are just not going to be as well known. They're not going to be as routinely checked. Whereas mm -hmm. if you play, like, Badlands, Snakewater, Granary, everyone knows where to look on Granary. You don't have that same sort of... Just sort of natural... I guess like almost muscle memory of where to check, what to check, and the timings. You know, you get used to the timings of when people will try and make these back cap plays. Whereas on Reckoner, a lot of this is, is new. Oh. Or even if not completely new, too new to have it down in the same way you would. And it just, this favours the team attempt to the back caps more than it does knows trying to prevent it. Mm, yeah, uh, also uh, this really applies to the second point, which I'm not sure if you know CX, caps uh, pretty quickly compared to other maps. It's uh, not quite Badlands, but it's uh, so very, very um, back capable is uh, a, to a term I'm going to coin for this moment. But And uh, Happy Farmers do love their back caps, but keep in mind, because they don't have Bash this evening, he's usually the one that kind of dissects those back caps for his team. So maybe we're not going to see too much of that from Happy Farmers tonight. It depends. I think they're still going to try it, whether they try it as much. I think it all kind of comes down, like... The, the amount of times a backup is successful all really comes down to the team you're playing against and how they play it. <laughs> because if they kind of have to make a mistake to a degree to allow the backup to work. Well, I think... Um... PC Master Race, they, I think they, they do have holes in. They're not going to be playing as tightly, but I don't think it's going to be, they're going to be the most, uh, I guess, viable, powerless, you could say. Um, they're not going to completely abandon those, uh, those flank points uh, on the map because Tobbs is usually uh, very good, very strict with his, uh, his flank holding and uh, very smart when it comes to just knowing how much you should uh, bite off when it comes to holding these areas, uh, but it is mostly on Tobbs though, because Potato and uh, HP don't really want to concern themselves with what's considered the bitch rolls, they just want to go in there and frag nerds. Yeah, Potato plays quite heavily with a combo a lot as well, which, if HP's down a lot, could leave Tobbs quite isolated. <laughs> and H HP plays with the other enemy combo a lot as well. <laughs> he plays a lot with a respawn queue as well. But I don't want to criticise the guy because there's time, there's moments where you think, oh, this is the stupidest move ever. But when he actually pulls it off, you're like, he's a genius. He's a god of this game. I, I HP all the way. He's the new scout of the season. But uh, you just, I guess, you just have to, you know, be in it to win it. And he just tries out a lot of these moments. And I think it, the team does slightly play around it sometimes. So uh, I think as long as they understand that, uh, it can be fine. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's also the potential, even if Tobbs is being strict, if he's fighting three people, it doesn't matter how disciplined you are, you can't 1v3 him every time. So I think either Potato needs to take more responsibility on the flank, or HB needs, like, a leash. <laughs> <laughs> they, need, they need to just, like, I don't know, like, nail him to the ground, as there's going to be sort of a brief delay while Buttnose restarts his router. Uh, I think uh, Damiz is going to have a wondrous time on this map as well. He seems to be a player that... It kind of is a bit of a question mark for me. Like, there's times where I see the potential in Damizi. I feel like he could be like the greatest thing in like Roma in this game. And then there's uh, when it comes to a season comes by and he plays some of the games, he just falls off a bit short. But so far in the season, he's been uh, doing pretty good. But this might be in contrast to his uh, to his soldier buddy Relia, who's just not been too hot this season. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to make of Relia. He's I, he's I, not bad. 
But he's, I, 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 know, um, I know exactly what to make of Brilliant. <laughs> I think if you watch him, particularly on mids, for example, and like on that Viaduct game, like on that Viaduct mid, he did the same thing every every time. He also didn't do it particularly well, which is an issue. But the fact that he does the same thing every time just meant towards the later mids, Potato's just sitting there on China waiting for Relia to do the same predictable jump. Mm. That's, you know, it maybe yeah. catches you off guard. What, like, if you're not looking, you can get behind. But if you're looking, he wasn't jumping with enough speed. He hadn't, you know, yeah. rehearsed for jump enough to make it genuinely difficult to stop. So Relia was just a complete non-factor in a lot of those mids on Viaduct. Yeah. And I think that's that's where where Relia struggles the most. Another thing as well is Relia seems to be uh, to do a lot of these plays by himself. I don't really see much sync play coming out from Happy Farmers when he goes for these sort of plays. I'm not sure if that's down to Relia or if that's down to his te uh, the team just not coordinating in general. But uh, we have gone live, CX. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is ETF to our season 24, powered by TTE Esports. This is week four, Happy Farmers versus PC Master Race. CP Reckoner is just about starting. What is happening, CX? We see Happy Farmer taking us right side uh, pretty aggressively. They do get that early frag onto damn easy, but a lot of separation right now. HP super deep, but he's somehow focusing butt though. Doesn't get the frag, but sets it up, and Top is going to pressure him back. And PC Master Racer plays this really well, just pulling them apart. Set Shocky's still deep, trying to get Settler. Uh, Settler does get a nice little trade on him at the end, but uh, really nice cleanup as we do have Lippy going super deep. Surely he's going to get fun. No! Damn easy arrives in time, Lippy beefs for rockets. Fun gets away with it and he'll hold even. That could be crucial. I don't think they're able to fight two here, but keeping that equal Uber on last, and from what I've seen, it's Oh, Damn easy going for the bomb. He's going for the bomb right on top. Oh, he almost gets. Uh, he tried to go for the air shot, but Grabber just did not. Uh, oh, he didn't even have the Uber to pop there because they just won that, uh, that mid so cleanly. But uh, that could have been disastrous for PC Master Ace there. Yeah, really well played from Grabber. Like we kind of point, you know, had a bit of a go at the end of the first map. Uh, you know, the medics, the medics' inability to stay alive. But Grabber did a great job there to hold onto his Uber. Yeah. But it does uh, look like they're opting for a slower approach in this last push. Anyway, we'll see what sort of uh, last hold they can conjure up for this uh, point. And we see Bluntnose has set up a sentry gun, and they've got Shocky on the heavy, so they're just going to try and out sustain this Uber aggression. But uh, they've also got Fun's Uber to. Uh, to kind of back themselves onto because uh, seeing as he did not die in that mid so I think we're in here for the long haul as we do have Dam Easy actually playing the spy. Yeah they've spammed out the sentry as Dam Easy has floats his way behind but you look at Grabber's position here he's surrounded by teammates. Oh, uh, okay, oh no he went for the scout <laughs> instead he just saw the position of Grabber and he's like hmm he's got his back to a wall that kill isn't that and he just tries to resign himself to a, uh, a scout kill instead. Uh, sadly, he does beef the backstab, so... Oh, they could have popped off the stickies there. They decided to Uber in with, uh, with it. They force out the Uber. They just need to get out now. Lippy just needs to get out. But the stickies are still there. They can't quite get Grabber out. Good, thank God he changed his doors, though. He would have been minced there. But those get some random... Uh, uh, Roma kill as well, and they do pick off the overextended dam easy, but in the big picture of things, I don't think this is really going to progress any sort of uh, push for either, side, either team. I think I think what farmers want to move on it, like, PC Master Race had a really clumsy oh, call no. out there, yeah, they yeah, all they, went different directions. Yeah, they're going to now that they got the potato kill as well, and HP's rejoined the fight, and he's died again. So, uh, back to the second uh, capture point, and uh, look, you can see, it, this point is already captured to uh, CX, it just goes, it captures so quickly. Yeah, they were able to actually, once they got out there, they were able to gain it back really quickly, and Happy Farmers got themselves oh, in a stronger fun, position. Fun, fun is dead, though, could die to the trademark settler trap. Well, settler, settler even takes out two players as well, takes out both the scouts. This is going to be easy pickings for uh, PC Master Race. Oh, damn easy, damn easy gets the trade onto Grabber as well. Everybody just seems to be dying except Brago. Like maybe he can uh, lay out a nice clever trap as well. Not actually, maybe not such so clever. He's just laid them out there, and and he's going to be caught up by the rest of the. Oh wait, nobody can land a rocker it seems. So Brago's even going <laughs> to oh get my the, God, trade, the kill onto Lippy. Good God. Dribbling into Brago so hard. Um, <laughs> the kill <that> point. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe it. Like they never should have got a uh, grabber frag at the end of that. That means he never should have been allowed for. As we see the repush once again from Happy Farmers, but going back to that mid, like if you look at when Settler got that 3k, right, he put his team in an incredible position, not just because of a numbers advantage, but you look at their, like, his team's position was perfect for that exact situation. And somehow, 
they just all get they all overcommit to Relia, who's sort of already zoned out low on health, and allow Dam Easy to get that free bomb and Dam Easy hits for rockets and all of a sudden uh, you lose all that advantage that they got from that great settler play. Uh, really, really sloppy after some great individual talent from settler. Yeah, it's just uh, the nature of TF2. People get very kill hungry. They want to pad out those stats when really if they just uh, took a deep breath and just stood next to their medic, like pretty much just look at him and see what he's doing. You know he's the only player that they want to go for, and they're eventually going to come for that player. It's damn easy. He's going for the play on the grabber now. He gets the kill. He gets the drop. What? Look what I'm talking about, CX. Just please look at your medic and see. He's like a bait on the fishing line, and they're going to get him eventually. But uh, nobody was expecting Dam Easy there, so maybe not quite the same situation. But now this is just a free. This is a license to push in for Happy Farmers. Now they just need to not drop uh, fun here. Tobs and Lippy on the back cap though. I'm um, going to draw everyone back. Fun, Buttnose and Shocky all come in and Potato's coming to try and set up a suicide. Buttnose is weak, but they're not focusing Fun here. They're trying to focus the other players. Um, but there's just too many of them with the heals as well. Potato's still behind. Buttnose goes back for the 1v1. Challenges him. Buttnose disposes of him. Big meat shot there. And this push has been delayed and allowed Grabber to spawn, but not a lot more really. I was surprised they didn't try and set up a play at the Medic when they drew everyone back. Um, but we're just going to see Happy Farmers retake mid. Uh, with a full uber advantage to push CP2 with when they're ready. Yeah, and uh, the Foon does hold on to his uber there, so he's pretty much primed ready to make the second push, and let's see what sort of uh, backing out defense they have. Let's see the sticky trap from Settler. Maybe he can make uh, action happen again. He does take that butt nose this time, and they push from a different door, uh, Fun and Co., and they will get this uh, second point uh, completely painlessly, as they've still got this uber, and they can probably just go straight into the uh, the combo here. They've popped it off now. They've taken out Tobbs. They just need to get on top of grab, and he actually gets a slice. Okay. Hey. Okay. It was on an Uber player, did oh. not count. Um, and Brego is going pipes only right now, going to clean up the heavy as well as the medic. And they should be fine, but Settler spawned. Surely it's not enough. Surely Brego just needs to land one pipe. Doesn't matter actually, but knows his nair. Got his back. And considering they lost mid, got rolled right back to last off the bat. Great resilience from Happy Farmers to roll up from take it, well, coast to coast, all the way back. So when you take the lead. So when you hit somebody with that, uh, that uber saw, you're not going to get any uber when it's an uber player, correct? Correct. It's only oh. if it's quick fix or vaccinator, like, if you don't, have, you don't have the shiny skin. Valve, please fix. That is just disgusting. I mean, what, how many scenarios are going to see that uh, happening? Well, uh, Settler has uh, turned up to this mid. Let's see. Oh, the only thing he do accomplishes is dying. It seems shocking. He was just too fancy footwork. And now off the back of that, Grabber dies as well. They've got no uh, kind of controlling damage to uh, start off this mid fight. And <laughs> damn easy even complaining that Shocky stole that kill from him. But uh, that was just disastrous. Settler just couldn't deal with, uh, well, Settler and a scout couldn't deal with Shocky there at the start of that middle. Yeah, when it was a soldier hiding for PC Master Race, but he, he gambled wrong when they came through the other door. So I'm just going to back it up to last. And uh, they're going to get CP2 for free and have another big clear uber advantage. Only a heavy on the off class so far from PC Master Race. Yeah, I'm surprised we're not seeing any engineer on this last point. Uh, it is quite fairly open. It reminds me of uh, Process CX. You can just get away with uh, an engineer here and just swap out from the, uh, the resupply area. But nonetheless, they're going with the sniper and the heavy. The heavy is uh, drawing a little bit of fire. He will sacrifice himself for the cause. And now that it's trying, time for the counterplay, it's time for the snake water part of the last point to kick in. And they're just going to all sack for the point destroy all the players that are trying to cap it. It's just what knows left, but it's very optimistic for him to try and take on five players there. And Fun is trying to weasel his He's way lost. out of the maze. Fun is lost. He has and no idea. And he's found him, the Minotaur of the Labyrinth has killed him. He had no idea where the best way to get out of that last was. Obviously, Dan needs to go for a sack, but Grab is tucked away slightly inside. But yeah, Fun, like, he just walks a longer way than necessary. Um, Oh, not shocky. quite used to the map. Shocky spy, nobody knows about it as well. He's, so, getting, uh, he's right behind Grabber. Is he going to opt for the back cap instead or is he going for the frags? No, uh, there's no way he's going to go for the back cap. He sees uh, Grabber, but that all, uh, excruciating play is a spy where the medic is just a little bit faster than you and you're desperately trying to get to him, but nobody's noticed whatsoever and he gets oh. the backstab. A very calculated play coming out from Shocky. A very poor play uh, from PC Master is there. They probably could have done a quick head count and noticed that they had an extra spy, uh, an extra player on the team there. Yeah, a soldier looked at Shockey disguised as a scout, I believe, when he, both their scouts were capping the point. So, it, you know, 
Come on, PC Master. Paying a little bit more attention, and you should have clocked that one, really. Yeah. Um, spending too much time on DM and not enough time on the public servers, CX. <laughs> yeah, forget MGE. It's all about spy checking in pubs. Oh, As right. we see, Liffy actually thinking about going underneath, but they've got eyes on it, and it'll be no threat to Happy Farmers. Going to regroup with the rest of his team on mid. But Happy Farmers, once again, roll back to last. But they find themselves in a position to push once again as they get full Uber. Well, well, let's see. They've got the Uber charge. What, where do they want to push from? Settler's got a trap set up. He's kind of, uh, actually, no, he's decided to blow it just to make sure he gets out from this lower push. And wise decision. They've actually got the vaccinator, which uh, I was not keeping tabs on. I guess they just knew that Uber charge was going to come in and they just need to get some, some sort of defense kicking right now. They just don't want to give up this midpoint, it seems. But they're going to take it away from CX. They've already uh, plucked two kills away. And uh, it looks like they don't want to commit any more players. And Brego has already uh, shut off one avenue of entry, so that is midpoint lost to Happy Farmers. Can you hear the car alarm? Oh man, that that, that's just the hype alarm. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see if uh, the alarm holds true as they do pop under the bubble, and that means the. Uh, oh my god. Well, they just let Sam oh, walk forward. Okay. And get the medic. And then he's walked into a sticky trap, and now Bray goes. It's, this is such chaos. Uh, but somehow the flank from Happy Farmers once again coming out on top. Gonna focus down this soldier. They, Grabber comes back with the bubble throw. He's getting focused down. Desperately trying to pop him on Liffy, but Liffy's not got a lot of ammo. He's got both scouts to contest with. They're both challenging him, and now this the is, scouts have the high ground. This is a this nightmare is situation as a soldier, and now, yeah, he just gets picked apart slowly. Grab is going to get cleaned up. He's actually going to get a separate respawn time. Look at that comparison to his uh, teammates that just died earlier. 14 seconds without heals for the enemy team. Sure, they do uh, rejoin the fight, but uh, they probably could have capped off that second point. There you go, but no, it's good job. And uh, they've got that second point now. They're going to get those forward respawns, and they've already got their heals uh, ready with the rest of the team so they're going to hold on to the second point and all you start pl planning out their last attack well uh, let's see what they have installed for us we have an engineer over on the left hand side for potato and i would say it's the right call this is effectively a seventh man on that last point uh, for your team and they're also rocking the hp sniper so they're going to feel that uh, that insecurity of possibly dropping uh, any sort of uber here as the last point for uh, reckoner is very open they decide to pop very early fun feeling the heat from that and HP is just going to switch off the scout now and they're going to see if they can just hold on, uh, hold the defense and arm's length away from Happy Farmers and there you go, you just see them uh, falling white dominoes there because they just didn't know what to do, staying, should they stay or should they go and they've just uh, oh they've made God. the choice for them it seems over on a uh, PC Master Race. Finn went a different way again, ends up getting caught out and now it's just Shocky, he gets one frag but he's completely outnumbered, surely he can't get set up from this situation. He's Buying Surely so much not. time though, and all this time they haven't been capping the point. But this is uh, this is reckon a second point, baby. Look at that player, uh, that one player on it, and it's already uh, pretty much capped off. Don't you just wish that uh, snake water was like that? Yeah, but no, it's on the sniper. But the the beauty of a vaccinator versus sniper is you can just use one or two bubbles to get through those sight lines without you know too much trouble. You know you don't lose too yeah. much out of it. You don't waste a whole Uber, you spent 40 seconds building, it only takes 10 seconds to get another one back. And now we're going to keep moving forward with this vaccinator. Damn easy on Spy. All the off-classes coming out. Brago's trying to go forward to force Grabber into a difficult Bra situation. What is Brago doing? Why did he go in there? What was He's, he expecting he was to happen? To, I think he was trying to set up Damn easy, but Damn easy got spotted by a scout instead. Well, uh... Damn easy's now getting spotted again. Somehow still alive. Yeah, and, uh... He's just uh, kicking it right now he might as well be dead because he's just sitting back and uh, he's just stuck on this useless class for now and they're going to be going into this last point with no Devoman stickies or Devoman trap to worry about they can just enter in here for free and well actually they're just popping off a, a bubble for good measure you know it's just the feel good bubbles after all and they pick up Rago again who was caught on that uh, right hand side without his medic they decide to bring out the pyro they're going to have to start using that, uh, that fire resistance on the vaccinator. This is a whole new element that they did not uh, think about when it comes to the vaccinator. They have never seen this class before, CX. Now, Phil, when you put your last push going pretty well, you found the enemy demo man, and then you lose frags to a heavy pyro and a spy. They probably could have just put, can't you just cap the point when whilst one of the bubbles off, uh, off top of it? Yeah, you can, that? yeah. 
Okay, well, why don't they just get some players on there and just start laying some... I know fire was pretty dangerous and it kind of pushed them off, but it still should have worked out in the end. And they're actually going to cap this under their feet here. And this is some good trades if they can, like, cap off this point. But no, oh my god, it's a sliver away. They're actually going to uh, kill all the bleeding players and get to this last point. It's a real shame if they got that second point. I don't think they would have been able to hold this off. I mean, they would have been able to hold this off even. That was such a risky play from Happy Farmers to commit to that fight on CP2. Like, somewhere somewhere between ballsy and stupid. Like, it was, they took it from such a disadvantageous position off the back of that shocky frag. Um, and it just did not pay off at all. Like, it was such a difficult place to take it. And when you take any scrappy fights, the vaccinator just comes, you know, comes to fruition. Just because you can just win these one-on-ones with the help of a bubble so easily. Uh, that's going to tie it up one-to-one -one as we go on to this next mid-turbo. Alright, they've uh, still rocking that vaccinator. I mean, what if it ain't broke, don't fix it as they just go in. The HP's already dropped immediately though, and they've just so much better spaced out over onto the uh, uh, the Happy Farmer's side, and now they're just slowly going to start picking off players one by one. It does take a little bit longer than usual because bubbles, but uh, that still holds true in the end. That's a real shame there. If they can't win the mid uh, fight with bubbles, uh, how are they supposed to win the mid fight at all? Uh, that, the worst place for vaccination was middle, just because you lose all those buffs on rollout. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so it's just meant that where if Happy Farmers, as soon as Happy Farmers realise they're unvaccinated, they can just take an early fight on the basis that their health is going to be better. Oh, you're right. You're um, completely right there. That, um, then there's no reason they should have won that mid fight, really. If they, maybe it was just a mistake by Grabber still holding on to that vaccinator at the end of the round. Or maybe, who knows, maybe the item server might have been still be broken as he's still using the vaccinator, but it's good for these last holds. As, uh, oh, they, well, it was good for these last holds. Brago just uh, laid a carpet of uh, traps behind him and just uh, slowly they got kited into them by the half happy farmer scout and they've already picked up a quick round off the back of this as well it's 2-1 two, two happy farmers CX. yeah it's a shame as well because i feel like running the vaccination there basically just threw them that round because they threw mids and they got they lost right. mids so we're, hard we're back, we're back on the medigun now back on normal uh... i don't mind i'd like the idea of vaccinator in like you know just even situations yeah you know i mean like two to three or so or you yeah. know pushing out of last but uh, you need those buffs on mid to contest properly as we see a big old bomb coming in from Damiz. He's just going to wander behind as his teammate Relia tries to set up the frag. But he's got already little backups. Happy Farmers all choosing slightly different times to go aggressive. But now Brego's come trying to capitalize off that soldier damage. But Settler's has got behind. Great combo to pick up Fun right now. But now right. Happy Farmers are going to go aggressive turbo. They, they need to blob up right next to front uh, to grab it even. And that's what they're doing. He has been slightly... Oh, the one-two kind of uh, punch coming out from the... Uh, the opposition of Happy Farmers, but all that commitment for uh, for Grabber has led them to actually lose out all the... Oh, actually, strike that. Shocky just came in, cleaned up everybody, but doing his Shocky thing, as always, very reminiscent of his Epsilon days. Yeah, new got the call from Butters, and that soldier was like, finishes him off with pistol, takes for one-on-one, -on -one, and absolutely just dominant right now, Shocky. Oh, Settler, though, very smart play coming out from Settler, because uh, Shocky knows he can't hold on to that last point. It's pretty much buried into the ground uh, and, you know, covered by a rock. Perfect uh, spamming position for Settler to abuse, and they've decided to bring out the uh, vaccinator yet again. But again, the scouts are just uh, proving too much to handle, and it does make you wonder if uh, all of this is to be chalked up to the vaccinator, or if it's just uh, the poor positioning of uh, PC Masteries. I think it's got to be poor positioning, because it seems like Settler got decent early damage as they came in to challenge that mid-fight onto Happy Farmers, but there just seemed to be no follow-up. Um, and from that, they just got forced out. And now we see Damn Easy opening it up, but there's a really passive hold come out from PC Master Ace. They're just opting to stay on last instead. It is the vaccinator against the Uber, though, as they start to try and move their way in through this sort of treacherous area. Relia is going to be challenged by Lippy, and great play from Lippy to get a force out there. Now Relia, he's only got rockets to do damage with. So ineffective against the vaccinator, but here come the scouts. Everyone's stacking the point, they need to get to the point! And they just bypass the entire bubble combo. Don't don't fight a vaccinator, just walk past it. They had nothing really prepared for that last hold there. No heavy, no engineer, no even a maybe a possibly sniper that I might have missed, but there was just nothing to really deter them from that last point capture. It does uh, I think Satlin may have had some stickies on point, or if he didn't that would have been even worse, but uh, there was just nothing to deter them from getting onto that point. Yeah, I don't, he didn't have a season point. Like, good call from Happy to spot it and capitalise in the midst of that. 
but sloppy from PC Master Race. All right, Shockey is going in uh, to the front of these players again, but this time he's uh, felt uh, a swift little, I guess, uh, overwhelming force from PC Master Race, and now they're going to actually lose the uh, the fight off the back of that. It really seems that these mid fights come down to whether or not Shockey just uh, wins against two v uh, like one v three or not. Yeah, and we're going to see him keep walking through on this left-hand side. Brega's putting up stickies, but actually maybe going to get isolated out here. But knows he's going to have to commit to save him, but Fun doesn't have either, so Buttnose doesn't want to risk his medic's life. Sensible choice from Buttnose to sell his demo man down the river there. But now we're going to try and challenge it with soldiers down mid the going in for a big this solo, but shocking very involved risky. as well. This is very, very risky. Actually, oh, they might have cut that completely from underneath their noses, and they just don't know what to make of it, PC Master Race. They're still holding the slight uh, player advantage, though. But if they all just like regrouped and just go straight towards the point, what can they do? They just want to try and desperately finish off the Shocky kill, but he's just bought some room for the team and he's drawn eyes away from Damizi, who's the real threat here. And Brego's even going to follow up uh, with Damizi as well. It's just set left. He does cap off the second point, but that's just going to get recapped uh, immediately. They do get the two forward uh, respawners of HP and Tobbs, but uh, let's see if they can find some hiding places quickly to uh, deter this uh, from fun from entering this midpoint. Yeah, really poor post super positioning from PC Master Race allows Happy Farmers to take that unfavourable fight and they're going to power through on some mid again and... Is... No, sorry, I thought Lippy was going to go for a bomb mid. They're just trying to hold lobby. They're trying to force their way in here. The Happy Farmers soldiers overextend and now surely a refresh will come out here. Yeah, they, I don't think they have to... I wonder if from, uh, they could think about maybe committing an Uber there. I mean... Uh, they have lost two players, but if they make a lot of work happening, it would be a bit unexpected as it looks like they're going in, and that's what they're doing. They've used the Uber, but those has gone in. They need to get on top of Grabber, though. He's going to have his Uber in time. Now he's popped off, and that's just completely destroyed any sort of advantage they're going to get going. They have got the, num the slight number of advantage, and their players will turn up to mid just a bit quicker, but uh, it just seems to be not... Uh, it doesn't matter either way, they're just winning the DM fights nonetheless, and HP is still fighting against Relia. Relia finally takes him out, but he's just wasted so much time. Bundos has actually pushed out all the other players uh, during all this, and nobody just wants to cap off that midpoint, it seems, over on PC Master Race. That was such uh, a mis like, mistake from HP there. Like, he went deep to get fun and he gets the med, sure great, but he sells Settler down the river. Um, and it, they just lose the fight off the back of that. Again, just these after Uber positioning, decision making, and now we see Grabber and Lippy are way too deep. The team's gonna have to try and come and save them. Brago's gonna pick off a retreat and Grabber. Uh, Lippy's gonna try and commit to this. HP and Settler choose just to stay on last. Uh, they get a one for one trade, but Settler going down early means no early damage for the encroaching Happy Farmers team. And surely this is the last push. Tobbs could have switched to an off-class there, anything to delay the time, finally, thank you Potato, he's got, oh wait, the crits have come in instead, well, uh, uh, that's a shame, if they didn't have, if they had anything but the crits, I think they could have maybe uh, defended that out, because they did have respawners on the way, and uh, Reckoner is one of those maps where you can just have a, the respawners really uh, sack for the point and bring it back from the brink of uh, capping. Yeah, we're going to seven minutes left in this game, and Happy Farmers are looking more and more comfortable. Um, just absolutely capitalizing on these PC Master Race mistakes. As we see Settler, uh, Brego going the same side, not really trading too much damage though. Lippy's going to be the one to instigate, but really it challenges him straight away. No one wants to go too deep until Lippy goes launching in now, forces Fun away. Oh, they're really so yeah. separated. Everybody, yeah, everybody was looking at one direction there and Relia uh, got from behind them again, took out Grabber, but this has just sent them into a fit of rage it seems for PC Master Race. They do try and uh, focus down Borrego, but there's just too many numbers for them to deal with. Potato could put... Oh no, I was kind of hoping Potato could have potentially cleaned up everybody there. They all were all in the red for a moment, but uh, just not written in the, in the stars it seems. Yeah, a solid response from um, that early frag from Relia onto Grabber. And uh, we're going to see the vaccinated defense of CP2 come out from Grabber, but there's a soldier on him, he pops the bubble bar. Oh, Shocky has even joined him up as well. Excellent uh, flank play coming out from the, both of the happy farmers there. They even might pick up the kill onto Lippy. He's brought down very low. Damn easy to rejoin the fight after a quick uh, health pickup, but they have traded 
uh, players and uh, the HP in his scout nature is going to uh, win these fights overall. Morelli are almost being brought down by HP there and they might still commit to this. Tobbs has actually decided that instead of taking out Relia, they just he's just going to go for the medic kill instead but doesn't even land any major damaging rocket onto him so that's just forfeited the second point. If they're going they to went in one by one. Like, you know, after HP got those frags on, you know, on the people who got their medic, they had like a reasonable chance to set something up and challenge CP2, but they just throw it away. Um, and now we see Settler trying to hold forward. He's going to keep that forward side sticky while Lippy watches the other one. Settler's going to get out now, but Happy Farmers, 40% advantage still. And, they have an uh, Uber. What are they doing? They can just go. They just. Okay. Wait, are they playing the plus? I think so. They don't want to challenge for forward hold. They wow. saw Settler sticking forward. They saw Lippy on the high ground up there. They know there's a sniper, HP, trying to find an angle oh, uh, from that same place as Lippy. And they there's just a... said, fine, you want to hold forward? We'll let yeah. you hold forward with there's our 3-1 only... there... advantage. And there's only five minutes left on the clock as well. So they're, ex... they're going to feel the, uh, the squeeze from this. Just... Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, he gets the kill onto grab and said that is... I was like, maybe they could still do this. But I think on that note, it is... it's not going to happen. Well, wow, Settler gets for force, which may... Just about do enough? Yeah, but they've got no demo man for a uh, last Oh, wow. Now. Lippy so, dies early as well. So what are they going to do? They've decided to hide potato in this uh, top right-hand corner, and instead of like waiting patiently for the medic to come around that corner, he kind of shows off his position. And they are using the respawners to try and hold on to this point uh, in true Reckoner fashion. And, <laughs> yep, Reckoner fashion. And the players just come back to the point and completely decimate all those players that are left onto it. Yeah, you caught it exactly right. They bought just enough time. Uh, even though that heavy didn't do as much as it maybe could have done, it did enough. Bought time for respawners. Nice 2k from Settler to clean up the scouts. Mm. And now they're coming back onto this CP2 with a pretty good chance of taking control of it. Alright, four minutes left, and uh, they've got roughly like a minute or so uh, for all the players to uh, win out these rounds. They have to just win it. No mistakes can happen from here at uh, this point on CX. They just need to go, 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 move, 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 and they're using the bubbles to take advantage of this. I like this play, and they have taken out Rego. Very good so far. That's uh, going to stop any sort of like uh, slowing down on the second point as well. They're cleaning up all these players. They've got this. Uh, uh, midpoint already capping off. They do pop off the Uber, but they're kiting it so well. Buttnose just can't seem to find this last frag on the HP. He picks up the health pack if they can kill off Buttnose. They clean, clean up fun as well. <laughs> that might be doing this, CX. What a load of nonsense. That's worked out really well, just okay. making a scrappy fight of it. Uh, and I think that really is the, the way the vaccinator works best, because you need to remove the, other, the enemy team's buffs to sort of make it an even fight. And once you can do that, the bubbles just just win the fight in a lot of situations and now we're taking the vaccinator in got a sentry gun right side. the arch nemesis of the bubble is the sentry gun i don't think they're going to be able to get onto this point unless they take out that sentry gun first it's actually a uh, shocking move there what a block okay so that's a completely wasted uh, uh sentry gun they take out that player but uh, they want to get onto the point but the sticky is crawling all over it radio just seems to be replanting them somebody just needs to die for the cause god come on Brago's now launched himself. He is the sticky on this point. It's just him left, and they will get this last point. But this is a matter of time, not a matter of winning, CX. If it wasn't for the bubbles, Brago was, you know, like Brago hit plenty of damage, but because of the bubbles, they only did, like, you know, 20 damage stickies and 20 damage pipes. Otherwise, that would have been a lot closer than it should have been. Why did Chucky move that sentry gun there? I know it was being spammed, but it was. You no, know, it was still buying a little bit more time in a way, but when it moved it, it just made it so much easier to fire upon as well. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, Engineer we're entering another... crying. <laughs> <laughs> we're entering another fight, and uh, Shocky's got the demo man. Oh no, I think this is the mid over uh, CX. They do get the trade onto Shocky, but then now they just need to stop focusing on their players extremely well. Uh, it's just uh, four of them left. They just need to start plucking them out of uh, the air. But Brago is getting some good trades. Not even dying to this. Lippy uh, overextends onto the fight, but Damn Easy uh, punishes that overextension by taking out his medic grabber. I think the fat lady has sung CX. Yeah, it seems all but over right now, despite getting the slightly better end of that mid. Um, this, is, this is not enough time. They're going to start capping it now, but without their, with their medic going down that fight, they're just going to run out of time. Um, we see Shocky now coming out on Spy. Meanwhile, Buttnose building the sentry at last. Uh, Shocky stripped of engineer duties after that, that missed move. 
have, uh, it's all fun and games now. Shocky's playing Spy and he's just hiding off in a corner, just uh, watching at, them. Wait, look at this soldier on CP2. He's just been hiding around a corner, but Grabber has the bubbles. Uh, it's so hard to, for, you know, to drop a medic with bubbles because he can just give himself that bullet resistance. It's the double or spy play. Explosive resistance. The forward sentry as well. Doesn't buy too much time. Shocky and damn easy. And break are all out of position, so it's kind of solely on fun to hold this round. Well, actually, they could still potentially do this. I, I kind of assumed it was over because, uh, you know, I, I suppose the time limit is a bit ridiculous now, but I don't know how what the quickest round is on this map, CX. Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe it's a bit like gully washing. You can cap this map in under 30 yeah. seconds. <laughs> like, I think we're going to be saved by about, you know, Five or so seconds ticking around, yeah, ticking down while the round ends and restarts, and then the rollouts. But I think if Happy Farmers were really uh, full of gusto, they would just like wait in their spawn and let's just see if they can cap it that quickly. But uh, it's already like there's 10 seconds left and they haven't even capped off me. Yeah, it is over. Who am I kidding? I'm just holding on to my last shred. Of hope. <laughs> the reflect nade! <laughs> uh gimmick from butt nose um and yeah you have to bear in mind as well happy farmers through that defense completely with like a double spy a forward sentry and brego just yeah trying to hold lobby by himself well with a spy for just... holding holding the point by his by his lonesome I know, but, but I, I was just thinking maybe it might have been you know counting your chickens before they hatch and uh they threw just a little too hard who knows they might have had enough time but uh, i was just being a bit too hopeful there it, it will go comfortably to happy farmers there uh four three just allowing, uh, I guess, a bonus round so they don't feel so bad. Uh, let's look at some logs. Yeah, and that was uh, really well played. Well, by Happy Farmers, like, yeah, PC Master Race made quite a few mistakes, a lot of misplays, but Happy Farmers did what they needed to do, capitalised on those mistakes, and despite the close scoreline, I feel they were, they were comfortable at all points, um, and I think that's reflected to a certain degree in the logs. Look at Shocky and Buttnose's stats. Absolutely dominant. Same with Brago's. My oh my, I'm just uh, well, nothing seems to be really jumping out at me here. Uh, well, Tob's got some uh, nine air shots, I think that's the only thing you can say that was going towards in this game. Um, what else? Really had a much better game than his average uh, season play, I thought. He's been contributing a lot more to these fights. You saw these uh, those couple of bombs in there that were actually successful in pick picking off the medic. So uh, maybe it just goes to show that Relia is improving as the season goes on, and um, he might be fit for Prem by the end of it. So it's, it's always good. weird in these games because they're they're quite chaotic and quite messy. So sometimes if you're not um, sort of as experienced with your DM, you're not as consistent at this level. You can get sort of shown up in these games. I think so I... especially like the vaccinator plays as well, like. When the other team's running vaccinator, a lot of the time you, you just can't do damage, you can't get the frag. You have, to, you have to just kind of give up the fight. It makes all these exchanges really messy. They predominantly use that vaccinator like the entire map. Before they were just kind of somewhat experimenting with it, but ever since that nameless game, they seem to be throwing it in there a lot more now. Is it, is it the reason for them losing these maps, CX? No. No, I don't think so. I think they could be using it better, though. Like, it seems like they've just they've got this gimmick, and it worked before more by the other team's mistake and the success of the vaccinator. Like, the vaccinator kind of, inst you know, made it messy, made it uncomfortable. But you need to play smarter with it. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, the surprise factor does go mm. after, you know, after yeah. a, even, even, you know, a couple of times of using it in a match. You know, you get used to it, you understand what it's going to do, and you see Shocky uh, and Relia and Brego, they just combine their damage. So Grabber needs to be absolutely on point with his switches and always have a couple of um, bubbles, like, you know, on the on ready. Uh, and you just can't do that consistently as medic, you just can't, you know, because of all the order you have to swap to them into, you can't always consistently cover the damage as you want it to. Mm. I think it does uh, skew the stats a bit as well, as I'm looking at the stats CX and it feels like the game I just watched doesn't quite match the stats that I'm looking at, as in the PC Master Race's stats are just a little bit more buff than usual, 
Or is that just me? Um, I'm not sure. HP stats are better than I imagined they would be. Yeah, like uh, same with like Tobs's damage as well, and uh, Potatoes like kills and contributions and stuff like that. Like, um, it, I think because... they might have gotten more kills. It's because happy farmers use their soldiers as very much sacrificial lambs, as they do on not just Reckoner, but a lot of maps, to enable Brago and Shocky. And mm. so what it creates is skewed stats, where Brago, Shocky, and Buttnose will have six stats, their soldiers will have awful stats, and it means, depending on who you end up fighting more on the team playing against happy farmers, your stats can end up being looking okay, when in reality, <clears throat> you may be gotten those two soldier frags plenty of times, but your team then got wiped off the back of it, so these two soldier frags don't actually, mm. you know. Like that time when um, Grabber died on mid, when Relia did, did absolutely nothing. Enough to set up damn easy to give a trade with Grabber. And yeah. it's just these mistakes from just that, just enable it, enable this system to work, even though it's quite predictable from Happy Farmers. Yeah, the trades were a lot more prevalent for the happy farmer soldiers as you can tell on the stats on the uh, kill assist to death ratios whilst uh, the scouts were just surviving and are contributing a lot more on happy farmers that's the that's the major difference i see now now that you've pointed it out but uh, the kills in the between the teams it's just literally the difference between them is just two frags like one team ended up getting 110 and another team got 112 pretty close on the stats yeah, it's kind of confusingly misleading. I'm not quite sure. I don't know, because it felt like Happy Farmers were in control. Even though it was back and forth, Happy Farmers never looks like losing control of the game, even when they were forced back to last. I feel like maybe the biggest difference, if, uh, if there was any, was um, I think the last holds. I think the last holds for Happy Farmers were just a lot more successful than... Um, than any of the last holes for PC Master Race. But uh, I'm seeing if we can find a stat to uh, back that it's, up. It's because they kept trying these vaccinator pushes until last, and there's nothing inherently wrong with it. You don't have the luxury of it being Badlands, where you can just vaccinate people onto the point and win in two seconds. But why? I don't get why they would take such a traditional style trade on last when they are running vaccinator. Like... The luxury of Vaccinator is you can you can use a quarter of an Uber charge effectively. And that's the luxury. You don't have to commit fully. You can, you know, edge little bits of damage. You can do that. So I don't get why they don't just use a bubble, maybe two, to get players in for a fourth and an advantageous position, then save the other bubbles. Like you know, like a mm. like a like a sack play, but using the Vaccinator to enable that more, especially because. Because it's a stalemate before you initiate the suicide, you have mm. time to slowly but surely get up to a 300 HP buff on your soldier, even no. though it, yeah, because there's no pressure on you. I think there was. Uh, whereas they just take, they just, they played it like they had Uber, but instead they have Vaccinator. Like, yeah, the Vaccinator is not the problem. The fact that you ca you can't just use Vaccinator and it be just as good. You like you have to you have to play the game. You have to play with the weapon you have. You have to play to its strengths. It's not like crits where you can kind of just wing it and just create chaos with it. Hmm. I think you need to use it more intelligently to actually to to use it so often. You have to rather than just the traditional on last holds or on badland. So, if you were grabber right now, CX, would you abandon this vaccinator uh, malarkey, or would you think you would just go back to the drawing board and just have another crack at it and just maybe decide using it a bit differently? Do you see potential in the vaccinator, basically? I like, I like it. I see potential. Um, I don't think PC Master Ace have a team to unlock said potential, though. Um, it seems like they kind of stumbled across this, and then it worked out really well for them. I think it was last week's game, was it? And they created the upset? Yeah. And now they're just, they're just riding that wave. Where, but they, don't, they, they kind of don't know why it worked. That's the problem. Do you know what I mean? It worked. Yeah. So they're just trying to repeat the things that worked yeah. without really thinking it through fully hmm. I, I think i'm not fully convinced yet but uh, i am interested into new meta new ideas being experimented with so uh, i'll over respect uh, i'm going to give out to pc master race for you know experimenting and trying but uh, i think in the big picture of things i think nameless just th uh, threw extremely hard on last week's viaduct and it's just uh, left a red herring 
Yeah, it's a false positive. Like, yeah, they didn't win. They like they didn't win last week because of Eastern vaccinator. Yeah, they yeah. just uh, they were just uh, a bit strange yeah. on what's happening and just tilted. And now they're just hoping. Yeah, they're just hoping if they do the same things as last week, it will work on different maps against a different team. It's yeah, it's it doesn't add up. Well. It, so that does conclude both our map CX. That does mean Happy Farmers will walk away with a full six points. This is almost going to uh, lead them into the top four uh, towards the tail end of this uh, season. I know it is just week four, and there are like three more weeks in it left. But um, these uh, those are the points they needed to kind of solidify these upcoming difficult weeks for them, because I think the next games are going to be along the side lines of like Nameless, Perilous. Teams like that. Yeah, I think it's um, it's Lego next week, then comfortably Spanks, and then finishing against Perilous. So certainly taking on the tougher teams uh, towards the tail end of this season. Uh, but it does put them in a fairly decent position. I think if my math is correct, based on not knowing the score from the other game, this puts them on 16 points behind Perilous. So second place on the basis that I don't know the name this versus Lego game. So they'd be second place, behind by two points, but obviously have played two maps more. Meaning they will most likely get leapfrogged, depending on the other score lines. by Lego, Nameless and Perilous. We'll all probably bump themselves back above them. But it does give them a nice buffer um, between the rest of the teams, between PC Master Race, Comfortably Spanked, Crowns and Bags of Five. Which is what they need, because that will get them into playoffs. Yeah, do you think... Uh... Do Happy Farmers strike you as that playoff team uh, this season? Do you think they de they would deserve the spot, or is there any other teams that you would put up there? Um, no, comfortably Spanks are too hit and miss. Bags of five are trying. Just, I, th I don't think they <laughs> I don't think they even qualify at all as a choice right now. They've just had too many yeah. problems with the roster that it's just made them completely ill uh, Ill eligible. God, yeah. that's a difficult word. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, they had a colossal task coming into this season anyway, and all their roster shuffles just compounded their last place position. Crowns um, continue to be one of the most disappointing teams <sighs> in, in the recent year. I, honestly, not to completely detract too much, but AMS is the problem. Oh. I'm convinced of this. Not like, you know, for any malice, but I think, it. yeah. Well, he's uh, he's got a land coming up, and I think the best thing you could say about AMS is he does turn up on LAN, so uh, hopefully all this ETF to all action doesn't detract too much from his dream hack uh, performance. But yeah, I think we're starting to see the divide, especially with the result of this game, considering going into this game there were four points between PC Master Race and Happy yeah. Farmers in fourth and fifth. I think now Happy Farmers have taken all six points. We very much have a top four and a bottom four in this season, mm. and that's, that's where the battle is going to be, you know, between relegation and... Yeah, and seedings effectively. I, th I think you know at this point, despite any being what are we four weeks in. Well, I think um, PC Master Race can still do it if they just don't lose at all for the rest of the season right now because they have taken away points from Nameless, and that's going to really skew and weird things out on the tables. So uh, with that in mind, they could. It's still very doable, but this is it. This has been a huge hurdle that they've made. They've set up for themselves. Yeah, it's it's going to be tough. Um, you'd also you'd have to rely on nameless, not nameless, um, happy farmers or one of the other teams to have bad results as well. Like that's PC Master Race's biggest problem now is they can win every one of their last games and still not reach playoffs. They have to rely on bad results for other teams. Well, uh, I think the only closing note I've got to think about at the end of this is uh, I think Damn Easy picked the right team because uh, <laughs> yeah. I, th I think once upon a time like he had a choice between these two teams basically he could have played for either team and it seems uh, Chip made the right decision at least in this uh, the short term on ETF2L but uh, other than that I think I'm out of things to talk about I can't seem to get anybody in for interviews and I was kind of hoping they would just arrive the Germans are missing so it's over Alright, any closing notes, CX? No, not really.
All right. If you're just tuning in, you have just sadly missed ETF to our season 24 powered by TET Esports week four. Happy Farmers versus PC Master Race. But don't worry, you can still catch all of the action uh, recorded onto a ni nice little video on demand over on our YouTube page. Just search Team Fortress TV and you should be able to find that. No problem. And also keep in mind tonight, we also do have another game going on, if that is still going on actually. Might have finished by now. That's being casted by uh, Admirable and Kado over on the, pr uh, the main channel. If you somehow stumbled up on the second channel, but uh, who knows. Uh, that will also be on our YouTube. If you want to find any more information about us, uh, you can find it over on teamfortress.tv. I've been Terror Tabs. With me was uh, Commander X, and on the production has been Mafsad. Uh, a big shout out to him, and a big shout out for you guys for watching this at home. Uh, you're the reason we do it. See you next time.